Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about 10 myths you believe about your reptiles. I'm going to be proving if they're wrong or if they're false. But before we do that, roll the intro. Back in 1994, the population of crested cactus dropped drastically in the New Caledonian Islands. It was believed that they went extinct. And this is one of the biggest myths when it comes to crested cactus, because that's not entirely true. In fact, there was still a little population throughout the islands of crested cactus, and they were still living. If it wasn't for the breeders' love for this cute gecko, you want to have this guy in your enclosures today. I am so glad that now we have millions of morphs and variants of this little gecko right here. This is one of my favorite geckos, and if you want one, you can get one ranging from 100 to even 20,000. 20,000 being lily whites and dark mochas. For anybody who's got the money and wants to spend a lot of money on a gecko like this. And then there's the $100 ones who don't want to spend as much money. Like this guy who is a Dalmatian with the regular uh, skin variant. More. I know what you guys are thinking. I shouldn't be making loud noises like I just did even though that wasn't really that loud because they can hear it. Well, that's not entirely true. Crested geckos don't have external ears, but they can hear. So your everyday, you know, business going around the house using the vacuum isn't gonna bother this guy, but sudden loud noises like the enclosure random, just suddenly being opened real loudly is going to bother your crested geckos. And that causes them to drop their tails. Now before we get to our next myth, I'm going to put this guy back in his enclosure. If you think that for whatever reason your crested gecko is mad at you because they're fired up, which basically just means that they become a brighter variant of themselves, that's completely false, kind of. It's actually true and false. Now you got to keep in mind that the crested geckos will change their colors depending on mood, but Usually, it just has to do with the temperatures of their enclosure. If it is super hot, they're going to be a lighter color. If it's super cool, they're going to be a really dark color. The dark helps them absorb more heat with a cooler uh, uh, reflects. Most people believe that a bite of a gecko, like a leopard gecko or a crested gecko or a gorgile gecko, penetrates your skin, then it's poison, and that's completely false. They don't have a, anything in their saliva to make you sick or anything. Well, if they do bite hard enough to penetrate the skin, you might need to clean the cut, but it's not going to be anything too bad. And crusty geckos, gorgile geckos usually, and leopard geckos cannot penetrate the skin, unlike their cousins, probably not cousins, the Lechonis and Tokyo. Most people believe that crested geckos need a heat lamp and a night lamp, and that is completely false. Do not ever, ever give your crested gecko a lamp because the temperatures are way too hot. They can get up to 90 or even 100 degrees depending on how close your heat lamp is. They, crested geckos are quarter geckos and need around 75 to set to at least 78 in temperatures and they always need a moist enclosure from 60 to about 80. Those are perfect environments for crystal geckos. Never give them a heat lamp. This is probably one of the most funniest myths I've ever heard of. People think that because a gecko stares at you, they're plotting to kill you. I don't understand that at all. And if you have any brain cells in your tiny little flea-sized brain, I think that you would know that they're not plotting to kill you. Number one, I, I, that's, that's false. So we're just gonna stop it there. That's, that's retarded. The next kind of sort of retarded one I've heard is that 
geckos and most lizards, reptiles, have poison in their urine. And I don't think that's true, but I do know that you probably don't want to keep that on your skin. That is, um, that's, you know, not very sanitary and very nasty. So, false. Signs that your leopard gecko is happy. And I should probably get her out for this one, but not yet. This one's kind of quick. If your leopard gecko is bright and alert, that means they're happy. Uh, that's actually the other way around. Alert means that they might be stressed out and they're trying to make sure to watch their environments. So that's alert. Bright is usually, you know, remember that leopard geckos do, you know, their colors can depend sometimes on mood, but do remember that it usually has to depend with the temperatures of their enclosure. Should you bathe your leopard gecko? No, absolutely not. Do not bathe your leopard gecko at all. It can uh, bother them uh, physically and make them sick give them respiratory infection and that is something you do not want with any any reptile at all but do remember it is sometimes good to wipe with rags or maybe put them in a shoulder deep uh, water container and give them a bath when it comes to stuck shed that will help to soften up the skin and then you can peel it off with a dry rag but never put them in head deep or leave them there to try to swim. That's that's just bad. You do not want to do that. Now let's get on to the next myth. Do you wake up with the munchies? Well, poor Lucas did. Lucas wanted a hamburger. No hamburger. But what? Wait. <sighs> Subscribe to Earl's Reptile so he can get his hamburger back. Where'd you get the burger from? But how'd you there's no burgers in there. What are you writing? A little bit, buddy. What, buddy? All right, let's get on to our next myth, guys. Uh, I'm still wondering where you got the burgers. From the refrigerator. How? We had no burgers. I'm not even gonna ask any more questions. Some people believe that leopard geckos do tricks because they like their odors. That one trick is rolling over, and this is what we call the death roll, because, well, it's a death roll. It's not actually a trick, but a seizure. When a leopard gecko does something called the death roll, where it flips over and on its back and it rolls around, it's having a seizure. This is called Enigma, and this is common in leopard geckos, usually common, and it's not... It's a disease that causes your leopard gecko to be retarded and have seen Being retarded, I just mean by spinning around in circles sometimes. As you guys can see here, I finally changed their enclosure, so now you can see them. I love this. It's, I think it's so much better if you can see the animals while, you know, you're in the room. If you're just looking from above, you don't get the same, you know, feeling from when you're looking from the side where you can see right here like right now his stomach that is so cool you can see the designs the special little spot design and then uh, uh, well Ruby over there I don't understand what Ruby's doing but she's got she's doing it with uh, I'm a little wrong that's actually pepper sorry Thanks to my leopard gecko for joining today's video. I'm very excited that she uh, said yes to join. Crusty gecko is doing all right, yet we're not gonna open him. Leopard gecko is doing awesome, guys. They're doing great. 
I'm not doing great. I'll tell you why. I stole a man's burger. And the only way he can get it back is if you subscribe. So guys, go down there and subscribe right now. Subscribe so you never miss a video that I upload. Any shorts that I upload, any videos that I upload, I promise you that these videos are going to get more epic as we get more reptiles. So subscribe, join the journey, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.